Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at Woodpecker's Auto Angle Drill Guide and uh, answer some questions that we've had on social media and on our customer service line. And the number one question is, does it do compound angles? We're gonna talk about compound angles in drilling, and that's where we're gonna to start today. Uh, I'm doing a stool seat. I've got the first two holes drilled, and I'm gonna show you how to set up for the next one. Now, this is usually when I say, let's get started, but I've already started, so let's keep going. So now I'm gonna turn this around, and I have a sacrificial piece of just uh, leftover plywood that we have at the, underneath. And I'm gonna use that to support the cut as we come through. So I've just got that kind of lined up underneath there. And when we put the auto angle out here off of the workbench, it's gonna be overweighted just a little bit. So I'm gonna clamp that first down to the bench. Now I'm gonna leave the drill off and put just the base on. And as we're lining this up, I'm looking at these two target points, this target point on the outside, and we're trying to maneuver those so that they intersect with the layout lines. Now we'll take a couple of clamps and clamp the base down to our stock and our sacrifice board underneath. And we're ready to drill again. Now, while I'm setting up for the last hole, let's talk a little bit about the geometry involved in doing compound angles while you're drilling. So the thing about drilling is the compound angles in the end turn in to just one angle. We did this when we took a look at our Duax angle drilling table I found an excellent website that explains this, and there's a link down below in the description that'll take you to a website by Matt McGrain, where he has an excellent explanation of rake and splay, sight line and resultant angles. And that's the information that you need to do chairs and stools. And Matt's uh, website is excellent for that. There's a link down in the description below. One thing I want to tell you though, uh, we had a little misunderstanding when we did the Duax. Matt has to send you the spreadsheet that he has on there. And the only way that you can get him to do that is to use the Contact Me form on his webpage, on the blog page. So use the Contact Me form and Matt will send you out the excellent spreadsheet he did on calculating these angles. So let me grab a stool and we'll talk about the geometry. So if we're looking at this stool, this is the front, and you're looking at the front of the stool, the angle that the legs are in going side to side is the splay angle. Now if we look at the side of the stool, now back to front here, this angle is the rake angle. In this design, it's really simple because they're both the same. They're seven degrees. So if you have seven degree rake, seven degree splay, the sight line angle on the stool that we're making, both angles are the same. The sight line is always 45 degrees. So that's why I'm working off a diagonal on my stool. So we have a perfect diagonal, Common angle, seven degree rake, seven degree splay, 45 degree sight line, okay? Now that, when we calculate that, if we're seven and seven, the resulting angle is 9.9. .9, and that resultant angle is what we set our auto angle guide to. A 9.9, 10 is very, very, very close. So I'm just on the back side 
of that 10 degree mark. That's gonna get me my 9.9. .9. That's exactly what I did on this one. My project's well underway, now it's time to make some legs. Hey folks, one more thing I wanna cover in the deep dive this week. We've had several people ask us about our original auto line drill guide, the auto angle drill guide, and a drill press. Which one should I buy? Well, uh, I'll tell you one thing. First, let's talk about a drill press versus a drill guide. Uh, I've had a drill guide a lot longer than I've had a drill press. I've got an old drill guide that I've had uh, for probably 50 years. Uh, and it's a fantastic tool. Even though I have a drill press, I still use that drill guide pretty often. Uh, not something that you'll ever not use because there's always a piece of wood that you have to drill where you just can't get it to the drill press or it's a wide piece and you can't get past the pillar of your drill press. So a drill guide is something that's indispensable in my shop. Now, which drill guide? Well, if you're never gonna drill an angled hole, then the auto line is the perfect choice. It will give you a perfectly vertical hole anywhere you need it. If you have plans in your future to do things like chairs, stools, coat racks, anything where you're drilling at an angle, you just can't beat the auto angle as a solution for that. Hey folks, thanks so much for watching today. We have lots of links this week. Down in the description below, there's a link to the product page and one that'll take you to Matt's website. If you wanna see the product video on the auto line, there's a link right now. If you enjoy the show today, be sure and hit the subscription button and the notification bell. That way you'll know about every one of our videos right when they come out. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.